like we're going to starter build here. The most popular starting stage. I'm just excited to see who Crush is going to pick. And it looks like it is going to be Terry. So, we do have Peach versus Terry here. Both characters with devastating combo potential. Both these characters can whiff punish really hard. But we'll see how strong Crush's punish game is with this character. Um, you know, this character, again, just came out today. So, he's still most likely learning all these punishes and uh, all the things you can get with this character. But already he's looking pretty good. I like the way he's uh, taking control of this match. He's using his uh, neutral Bs and his side Bs to keep Brazo out here. Play defensively. Okay. Brazo is... Looks like he's got his footing here, though. Um, it's still pretty even right now. Okay. And Crudge gets that special attack cancel. Yeah, so we talked about earlier uh, with um, Z Fly. This character has a frame 3 jab, which is, as far as the jabs go, that's about a normal speed, maybe a little fast. Uh, the thing is, though, this character can cancel into a special move. So, in a lot of situations, this character has. Yes, like we saw there, insane kill power because he hits you with that super fast jab and then all of a sudden you're getting hit into a combo where you get hit into one of those special moves that just uh, has insane kill power. And now, this again is so scary for Razo because now he has to deal with a character who has access to his most powerful moves. Um, but this is where Terry really struggles is off stage. Can Crudge make it back here? Looks like no. Uh, those turnups do a great job of just covering Terry. I think characters that are going to be good at edge guarding are really going to excel versus this character. And wow, the shield pressure coming out from that stitch so strong. Razo getting that stitch. Very lucky for him. The, the stitch face is the strongest of the turnups. And uh, putting a lot of shield damage, forcing Crudge into that situation where he ate that down tilt and, and leading into, which is, like we said earlier, insane combo game. Okay, Razo tries to snipe out the recovery with the turn up. Looks like Terry's gonna make it back though. Uh, but Razo's gonna get another chance. He's gonna put on a lot more damage here, but Terry is not. Oh, Bates, I like that recovery. Bates like he's going to go off stage and then drifts back in, uh, knowing that if he goes off stage or tries to recover low, Razo has an answer for it. He has that turn up in hand and he can punish. But, uh, back throw still not going to kill, but okay. Crudge still makes it back at 190 here. A lot of these uh, Terry players we've seen move to an uh, insane amount. Oh, yeah, that final, uh, uh, I'm actually forgetting the name for that move, the, the bomb, I think it's called Buster Bomb or something. Uh, that move has a huge hitbox above Terry and will, uh, you know, stuff out most jumps, most, most approaches. So if you predict your opponent coming in, they will get blown up by it, and especially if you put your opponent off stage and force them to come back in. Um, you know, let's just kill them at an early percent. Razo looks so strong in this game, uh, and he still has a lead here, but you know, now Terry has access to all those moves once again. And, okay, goes for the side B there. Probably couldn't have killed with any of his uh, moves here. Oh, I think he's dead here, though. Oh, unfortunate for Unfortunate for Crudge there. Um, I feel like he was definitely about to make a comeback. Uh, like Razo needed to make that edge guard there uh, because we said uh, this character is just terrifying up close. And uh, at 67, uh, I'm not that familiar with this character, this new character, but I'm fairly certain that uh, Terry can kill Peach. <laughs> He does have confirms into that explosion, and that does kill off the top. Peach being a floaty means you die earlier to something like that. 
Uh, what's up, fans? He's eating some sour. He's going to be joining us from... What are those sour airheads? Oh, he's offering me one. I can't eat on stream. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, dude. I'm going to take a quick break and eat some of these airheads, man. Dude, you just move the mic from your head, from your face, for like a second. That's the secret to it. It's like whenever you're drinking water on stream, as a commentator, you always need water. You just move the mic from your face for like a second. Like a good second, like while you chew. Yeah, but like chewing is kind of gross. It's like, if you want to finish it first with water, you can just take a swig. But whatever, we're getting back to this game right here. I mean, I'll tell you who's taking the swig right here is uh, Crutch, because... He definitely wants to take a swig at Razo's secret stuff because Razo's up one game. This is the winner's side still, so we're still in pools. Um, okay. <laughs> Think about Terry here. When it comes down to the air to air, you have to really watch out because, like, things like forward air have a sticking hitbox. And if it, it, it's in hitbox, it's like really, really out there. So you have to be careful when you're able to do a forward air. So far, Raz is kind of playing really good respect. Like, oh, that may or may not be it. I was going to say, like, depending if Raz went for a deeper edge guard. Difficult to take care of him. Yep, that was a really good mix up here. Throw the turn up upward, confuse my opponent, hit him with forward air, and then uh, one done. Yeah, actually, the first game was pretty close. Raza was running away with it, but Crudge um, almost stole it out from him with this. I think uh, got Raza out to like 78 or something like that, which is definitely kill percent against Terry. Like, I've seen Crudge, he's able to land some of these confirms with the. Uh, he gets over 100 and has access to all those special moves. And he'll just kill you so fast. Like, yeah. So early. He has like one of the one of the, one of the best so far. I mean, it's still too early to tell, but like, he has one of the best damage outputs out there. Simply because of his kill power. It's really really big. Um, that kind of causes you to kind of treat Terry in the sense that you would like you know Ryu or Ken, right? When they're at that higher percent, especially for especially for Terry. When he's a higher percent, you either have to finish him off now, or you are doomed. Yeah. And with a character like Daisy, I'm sorry, like Peach, you do have the ability to kind of use turn ups, float your area, your cancels, to kind of get him up. Oh, if Blige would have gone that confirmed, that would have been it on the stock. Uh, yeah, you can nice. tell, you can tell how Razalak like, understands. Like, I don't want to go for that immediate edge guard because look at how much happens when he comes back on the stage. Oh, when he's even from the ledge, but that was a really good side B. He's able to take care of Raza. Raza thought he was safe to land. You kind of have to treat that side B in the same vein of like Wonder Wing. It's not the same thing, but you have to think about like, okay, if I'm not ready for it, it will hit me and I will lose damage and I could lose a stock here early at the ledge. Yeah. Same concept, basically. Yeah, and like, to what you said about the edge guards earlier, about uh, Razo being so patient here and not really over committing, mm -hmm. uh, so many of these, uh, the Street Fighter characters and now Ken, like, when they get you in those situations where you're the one recovering, their ability to cross up makes them so scary because yeah. they can cover a roll so easily. Yeah, and the thing about Terry too, he also has autocorrect. <laughs> so you cannot really cross up Terry. You have to really be careful when you cross him up because he's going to automatically correct himself. So the yeah. thing the thing that you want to do here is make sure that if you are going to... I think Kena had a really good set with Nito beside MSM. If you guys are definitely like watching here on YouTube, definitely check that out between Kena and Nito because he showed signs of, okay, I have a disjoint. I have things to kind of poke at my opponent from a distance that I don't necessarily need to go for a full cross up, a full commitment, that I can definitely just back off. But unfortunately here, Razo at the ledge. Like you said, it's a pretty dangerous game to play here, and Crudge will take advantage of that. Bringing it 1 1 apiece. Yeah, yeah, that side B, uh, pretty good kill confirm. I think it sort of balances out the character in that a lot of what Terry's confirms, his kill confirms, are mm -hmm. up super close. So maybe you think you're safe, and then he hits you with that side B and takes a stock. Razo definitely wasn't expecting it in that situation. Um, looks like we're going to Pokemon Stadium next. Yeah, but. Um funny, I, I played and I got bodied on screen because I, I have not played Terry. <laughs> like, the character came out and I was like, well, I gotta get ready for, I went, I gotta go, go exercise and then I gotta go get ready for work. Yeah. So I went, I went to work. So I apologize for those of you guys who watched me taking that earlier. I'm sorry, I haven't had time. 
Man, when, you, when you're a busy man and you work 9 to 5, sometimes you, uh, you'll figure it out when you get home. But I haven't been home. I'm here at WNF, and Razzle and Crudge are here with us, joining us for Game 3. Uh, Crudge ran a pretty close last one here. Uh, Razzle had the right mindset, though. Keep my distance as much as possible. But here is Crudge going to hit the grab and put him up in a, such a big deficit, 55 to 25. Half a deficit, I would call it. Actually. Yeah, I think this is... Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's not... This is kind of a scary matchup for Peach, though, because... Uh... Peach is a character that likes to whiff punish, right? Yeah. So that requires knowing the frame data of your opponent and what you can go for. And if you try to bite off a little more than you can chew with Peach, you're just going to eat a huge punish. Uh, yeah. Your character's light. Um, and you know, those openings that that uh, Terry gets are going to be huge. Yeah. We still haven't seen like Terry Optimus. It is only hours. Like, I don't know, hour 16 of this character being uh, available yeah. to us. But it's still, like, pretty, like, one of those things, like, uh, you can tell Razo understands. Like, when you're in the ring with an opponent who has a set of tools you're not familiar with, the best thing you can do is give respect. And not only that, understand, okay, look at look at the distance that Razo has between him and the stage, right? He to to throws turnip, covers the stage. He says, okay, I want him to make the recovery first. Then I'll figure it out from there. Because if I make the commitment here, I may lose it here. And unfortunately, Crutch having that SD this game pays such a dividend for Razo because he's already up so high at 136. Three stocks to Crutch's one. Yeah, it's, this is a great, great stock to Crutch here right now. Definitely, um, based on what I've seen on stream, I haven't pegged going furthest as, this, as a solo Terry uh, player right now. Uh, his punish game is, is very optimized, and I'm liking how he's uh, using uh, Terry's tools. Yeah. He's using them a little bit too much. I would say, like I said, like one of the things Terry does have is solid aerials. I wouldn't call them the best. I really wouldn't know where to rank them, right? But I would definitely say, like, forward air, like I said, it does have a little bit of that district out there. Nair does have that lasting hitbox. He has a solid, in my opinion, a better upright than the Shoto's because it actually is able to juggle just a little bit better than Ryu and Ken's. So that's the thing that Terry, oh, a great back air, also just like Ken and Ryu. So that you, yeah, that back air is pretty strong. Exactly. So you like you have ways to cross up your opponent and get a really good back air, but unfortunately you caught out the ledge here. Raza will just go ahead and call it a day, man. I'll take my money and I'll punch my way into the next level of this pool's crutch. Good stuff though, early on. I feel like he was trying to get something going here with a lot of the specials, right? But unfortunately, like going going for Buster Wolf in the neutral like that when Raza's floating above you is not it's not the play, man. It's not the play. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Finishing off with that side B there.